Politico headlined this morning with the Presidential Debate Commission announces moderators for fall contests. The Commission on Presidential Debates on Wednesday announced the slate of moderators for all three presidential debates and the vice presidential debate. The first debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden set for September 29th in Cleveland will be hosted by Fox News Sunday anchor Chris Wallace, who in 2016 became the first journalist from his network, known for its primetime lineup of Trump-friendly hosts to moderate a general election debate. Steve Scully, senior executive producer and political editor for C-SPAN, will moderate the second debate, a town hall style event set to take place on October 15th in Miami. The final debate between Trump and Biden will be moderated by NBC News White House correspondent and Weekend Today show co-anchor uh, Kristen Welker. That debate scheduled for October 22nd in Nashville, less than two weeks before voters head to the polls. And Susan Page, Washington bureau chief for USA Today, will moderate the vice presidential debate between Vice President Mike Pence and Senator Kamala Harris. That debate scheduled for October 7th in Salt Lake City. And here on Washington Journal, we are joined by our colleague Steve <laughs> Scully with the uh, announcement that you'll host the the second presidential debate. First, Steve, uh, a personal note, a lot, a lot of folks around the country have congratulated, congratulated you. Congratulations. Way to go. We're looking forward well, Bill, to seeing you in that you. debate. <laughs> so how, what do your you. your you know, inter Interestingly, I was just going to mention the first interview I did at C-SPAN was with Susan Page. So I think we've come full circle. <laughs> there, there you go. You're hosting the town hall debate in Miami. What does a town hall debate look like in COVID-19? Well, we're going to go through this and, and learn the process, but in talking to the commission, uh, first of all, some background. The very first town hall meeting took place in Richmond, Virginia back in 1992, and that really came from negotiations between the Bill Clinton campaign and the George H.W. Bush campaign. Carol Simpson of ABC News moderated that debate. What the commission now does is they work with the Gallup organization and they will select approximately 30 undecided voters who will uh, be in the debate hall at the Adrian Arsht Center for the Performing Arts on October the 15th, and they will all have questions. Uh, my role is really to facilitate their questions, not to tell them what to ask, but just so that I'm aware of what the questions will be, mainly so there's no duplication, that there's not three of the same types of questions, and then to, to carry on the conversation. The other thing, and, and we're announcing this today, we, we want to get questions from the C-SPAN audience and from the general public. So you can follow me on social media, at Steve Scully, and send me a question. You can also send us an email, and there's a new email address, townhall, because that's the format of the debate, townhall at c-span.org. And over the next two months, a uh, month and a half, we will then call your questions and then incorporate that into the conversation that will take place on October the 15th. This is not a completely new role for you. You were the backup in uh, 2016, the backup moderator in 2016. Mm -hmm. But tell us how you, you are planning to prepare for the town hall. Well, in many ways, it was good training for me to do, uh, to serve as the backup moderator. So I went to all four debate locations, the three presidential and the one vice presidential debate. Uh, and I prepared as if they were going to call on me at the last minute to, uh, to uh, moderate the debates. The town hall meeting is unique because it's really more of a facilitator role, uh, but to listen carefully to follow up, to make sure that uh, the president, that Joe Biden, and if there is a third participant in the debates, which we don't know yet, uh, that they follow the rules, uh, that they don't filibuster. And my hope really is that we're gonna ask very direct questions and we're gonna push for very direct answers and to make sure it's, it's fair across the board. What, give me your, your thoughts on this 40-year uh, arc of C-SPAN's coverage of these presidential debates from 1980 to uh, 2020, uh, all along these years, we have been a, an observer largely of these events and now stepping into the role as a participant. What are your thoughts on that? It's exciting. It's uh, a little bit nervous, of course. Uh, but you know, if you think about it, it's what this format especially, I think is, is well suited uh, for my background. It's what you're doing right now. It's what we do every day with Pedro and uh, John and, and, and Jesse and, and Greta. Every day we're talking to the American people. Uh, and this really, the, the key thing about these debates is it's the last opportunity you have to see the candidates in really an unfiltered format, especially in this COVID-19 uh, environment that we're at right now. We've just come off the conventions, uh, which really have been, you know, prepackaged events, and that's how the parties put them together, and, and, th and that's, they're right. But this is a chance with the three presidential can candidate debates 
to really hear from the moderators, to hear from the American people in the town hall format. And um, I think it's great for C-SPAN. I think it's great for uh, our, our approach, which is really to make this America's conversation with the candidates, especially in this format. And um, we're looking forward to it. I mean, it does, um, it's, uh, it's a big task, but um, we're ready for it. Well, we'll remind our, our viewers and listeners that they can submit their questions to uh, townhall at cspan.org. And I want you to know that the entire company here, we're behind you, buddy, and good luck on October the 15th. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Appreciate it very much. It's going to be a great ride. We're looking forward to it. And coverage of all of the presidential debates, all three presidential debates, and of course the vice presidential debate coming up on the C-SPAN networks. Full details of coverage available at cspan.org.